I'm not about to be like these preachers, man. I'm, I'm not about to be like these preachers who just lying and lying and lying and lying. People need the truth more than ever now. Okay? People need the truth more than ever. Okay? People got to stop sugarcoating the truth. People got to stop sugarcoating the truth of God's word. Okay? So this is why I'm doing this video and this message. So you, so you can take your life and your walk with God serious. So you can get it together. So you won't be deceived and you won't get left behind. Or you die or you die in your sin and you end up in hell. Okay? So I'm going to tell you the truth. Dating y'all is fornication. Dating is fornication. It don't look, look, look. it don't matter if that's your girlfriend, bro, and you love your girlfriend and all this silly stuff, bro. You were in fornication. You were in fornication. And you won't make it to heaven. And you won't even get raptured up out of here. I'm, I'm, I'm telling y'all the truth. Okay? Dating is fornication. It don't matter if that's your girlfriend. It don't matter if that's your boyfriend. Okay? It don't matter. Okay? You won't make it to heaven. If, if you die in that, you won't make it to heaven. And also, you will get left behind. Okay, you will get left behind. You will be stuck here suffering and suffering and suffering because you you wasn't living a righteous life. You you wasn't. It, it's it's kind of like this. When Jesus came back to get his people, you was in fornication, okay? You 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 were so-called dating. Because let me tell y'all something about the world. And this is why Jesus warned us and Jesus told us. Don't follow the ways of the world. The world calls it dating. The world calls it dating. If you having sex, little look, if you having sex with your girl or with your boyfriend, y'all going out on dates, y'all going to the movie theater, y'all in a so-called relationship, the world calls it dating. But I ain't got time for what the world talking about. I'm trying to get to heaven. I'm trying to get raptured up out of here. What does God call it? God calls it fornication. Whether you like it or not, or whether you agree with it or not, God calls it fornication. So this is my thing, y'all. For all of you all who are looking at this video, I'm doing this message so your blood won't be on my hands because I told you the truth, okay? I don't care what these relationship movies is promoting. I don't care what these so-called relationship experts are pushing, okay? I don't care what these relationship books is pushing. Dating is fornication. I'm going to go off of what God is talking about. I'm going to go off of what God is saying. Dating is basically fornication. God don't care if you are dating. You will get left behind and you won't make it to heaven because you died in fornication. Okay? Now this is, what's, now, now this is the bad part I'm about to get to with a lot of you all who are so-called dating. How long have you been dating how long how long you been with this girl brother how long have you been dating this girl four years five years okay so watch this brother if you've been dating this girl for four years or five years the world calls it dating god calls it fornication so according to god you've been fornicating with this girl for four to five years some of you all have been doing it longer than that the world calls it dating for four to five years. God calls it fornication for four to five years. So if you're a dude out there and you've been so-called dating your chick and you may say, well, Tiario, I've been with my girl for about four, five, six, seven years. Okay, so you've been sleeping with her for four to five to six to seven years. You've been fornicating with her for four to five to six to seven years because I... I'm sorry, brother. I have to look at this the way God look at this. God don't care what the world talking about. Because the world going to have you all deceived and going to hell. God calls it fornication. So you've been fornicating with your girl for four to five to six to seven years. Same thing with you women, right? You women be talking about y'all dating and, and, and you seeing this guy. Well, well, well listen, ma'am. God don't care about what you talking about. You've been fornicating 
seeing this guy, okay? And let me tell y'all something. The reason why the world calls it dating, let me give you some game. The reason why the world calls it dating, because they don't want to look like sinners. So they cover up fornication and they just put dating to it. Come on, y'all. Pay attention to the world. Pay attention to how the world be deceiving you all. The, the reason why the world calls it dating because they don't want to look like sinners. See, fornication make you look bad. It make you look like a sinner. It's like your sin is exposed. So this is what people do. People just call it dating because they don't want to look like they in sin. This is, this is the reason. This is the reason why Jesus warned us to not follow the world. Look at how the world deceives you. The world put a title to it. We're going to call it dating. Because fornication make us look bad. Fornication make us look like sinners. Fornication make us look like we ain't going to heaven. Fornication make it look like we all going to burn it. We all going to hell. That's why the world calls it dating. It's to, it's to deceive you all and make you all think you're on the right track. you're not on the right track because none of us can escape this stuff bro this is the truth okay and i know a lot of you so-called people who are out there dating y'all ain't gonna like this but i don't care bro i don't care because your blood ain't gonna be on my hands i don't got time to be lying to you and doing what these preachers doing talking all this you saved by grace you 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 saved by grace god's grace god's mercy god's love look bro look i don't got time to be playing with god I don't got time to be standing in front. Look, look, I don't got time to be standing in front of God being dishonest. I don't got the time for that, bro, at all. Okay? I'm just keeping it real with y'all. I don't have the time for that. This is why I'm giving y'all the truth, okay? Whether you agree with this or not, that's on you. I've done my job, okay? I've done my job. So this is, this is your life. You are responsible for the choices you make. You are responsible for the way you live your life. So if you want to just hold on, look, look, if you want to hold on to calling it dating, go right ahead. Because remember, you got to still meet God in the end. You still got to get judged. <laughs> and God don't call it dating up there. Look, 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 when we standing in front of God and we getting judged, God not going to call it dating. He going to call it fornication. Okay, and I'm telling y'all, this is why Jesus told us don't follow the ways of the world. Look at how the world deceives you. Okay, we're going to call it dating because we don't want people to look like sinners. We don't want people to look like they're going to hell. We don't want people to look like they don't have God in their life and they're not living a righteous life. We're going to call it dating. And then look, 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 in all of the relationship movies and all of these so-called relationship experts and all of these, these fake relationship books, they push and they push and they push and they push and they push dating. But I'm, I'm telling y'all the truth. Dating is fornication. And a lot of you all, y'all know what the Bible say about fornication. You won't make it to heaven. Fornicators not going to heaven. They not going to go. They not going to go. They not going to make it to heaven. Okay, so now I got to say this real quick before I shut this video down. For all of you people out there who think you so special because you, you because you with one person. I got to I got to I got I got to just really keep it real with y'all because you got a lot of people. And yo, and I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Watch out for these people who think they so special because they only sleeping with one person. Watch out for these people because they are deceivers as well. You got females out there who think they so special and righteous because she only sleeps with her boyfriend. Ma'am, God don't care if you only sleeping with your boyfriend. You still a fornicator, <coughs> okay? You still a fornicator. You just fornicating with one guy. That's it. You just fornicating with your boyfriend. You still in fornication, okay? You're not married. So you're not special because you only sleep with one partner. Get that out your head, man. Because the world, 
the world have deceived you all. You think you special because you only sleep with your boyfriend. You only have sex with your boyfriend, so you special. Ma'am, you, you still a fornicator, though. You are still a fornicator, okay? You're not going to make it to heaven if you die in your sin, okay? You're getting judged for your fornication just like everybody else. You're not special because you only sleep with one dude. So basically, this is what you're going to tell God on Judgment Day. Well, God, I only slept with one guy. Create a website worthy of your brand. Offer your clients a seamless booking experience. Sell your product. So I should deserve to go to heaven because I only was sleeping with one guy. But ma'am, God is going to tell you, but it's still fornication. You never married the guy. Y'all never got married. Okay, so you, you're going to the same hell with everybody else. You never got married. You never got out of your fornication. Okay, so miss me with all that crap. You cannot run game on God. You cannot run game on God. I can't stand in front of God and run game on God. I can't. This is why I'm putting this out there to you all. Tiario cannot stand in front of God and run game. I can't do it. And you can't do it. So, lady, if you think you're so-called special because you're faithful to your boyfriend and, and, and you're so-called dating your boyfriend and you only sleep with your boyfriend, you're not special. You're still in fornication. That's what the Bible calls it, fornication. The Bible never said, oh, you're special because you're faithful to your boyfriend and you sleep with your boyfriend. You only sleep with one guy, so you're special. No, you're still a fornicator. And, that, and that's a wrap, okay? Because here's the deal. If you really want to be special, just marry the guy. If you really want to be special, just marry the guy. That's it. But you're not special, lady, because you're sleeping with one guy. You're still a fornicator, and you will still be judged, and you will still be headed to the lake of fire after you die. Same thing with you dudes, bro. You dudes, listen up. God does not care if you are only sleeping with your girlfriend. He don't care about none of that. You are still in fornication, brother. Okay? I am telling you the truth because I'm not going to sell you a dream and your blood will not be on my hands. So, brother, listen up. God does not care if you are only sleeping with your girlfriend. It's still fornication, and you will not make it to heaven, and you will get left behind, brother, and you will be judged for it. Okay? Wake up, you all. Stop listening to what the world is telling y'all. Stop listening to what your friends is pumping in your head. Stop listening to your family members and your co-workers. It's fornication. It's not dating. It's fornication. And the reason why the world calls it dating, because they don't want to look like sinners. That's the truth. This is why people say, oh, you know, I'm dating. No, just say you fornicating. But they don't want to say they fornicating because they don't want to look like sinners. This is the truth. The Bible tells us don't be deceived. And me personally, y'all, this is why I'm not into all that dating crap. I'm not into it. I, I, I'm not into dating. I, I, I'm not into all that, bro. I'm into having an honest conversation. I'm not into all that dating. I'm into having an honest conversation. Where we going with this? Where we going with this? That's what I'm into. Where we going with this? What we going to do? All that dating and playing around and going out on dates and having sex and going to the movie theater, having sex and you're having more sex and you're having more sex and, 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 and you're being deceived by Satan, Satan telling you you're dating, but actually it's fornication. That's why I'm not with all that dating stuff. That stuff is worldly and it's toxic, okay? You will be judged for this stuff, people. Wake up. Wake the hell up. And stop listening to your friends, your family, your co-workers, your homegirl, your homeboys, all this stupid stuff, bruh. It's fornication, bruh.